in Africa, we are given goats. And today I'm sitting with a goat, the greatest of all time. He's a multimedia producer. He's going to introduce himself. But listen, you're now watching and listening to the We Deliver podcast from Crestwood Marketing and Communications Limited. Thank you. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Tina. Introduce yourself to the watchers. That, that was a magical intro. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I can talk it. Maybe. No, you don't have to. Just go ahead and say, this is who I be. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Curtis Obimbo. I'm a multimedia producer here at Crestwood. I'm the senior in that department. Nice. I lead the operations on that department. Basically, what I do is create content through visual videos and motion graphics too. Nice. Yeah. So in as much as you've had, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Mm. Multimedia production. Now, what in the world? Possessed you to go into multimedia production. How does that work out for you? From the start, if I, if I look at it, from mm. 2016, I started out as a photographer ah. right after high school. Because in, in high school, I, I used to be part of the journalism club. Would you believe it? <laughs> I do. I used to, it was the only way out of how to get out of school. So <laughs> <laughs> the easiest you think, way. Did you think of drama music festivals? Uh, it, it was tough getting into drama, okay. yeah, because so of the know. consistency. Because uh, if it was drama, mm -hmm. I'd go for two days, then on the third day, I'd go for soccer practice. Ah, so it's okay, like, you like soccer? Yeah. What team? Manu. Hey! Get that. What about Manu? <laughs> <laughs> but you're going. Yeah, so, so... photography is a way for you to get out of school? Yeah, during funk. If I didn't make it on the list of the <laughs> soccer team, football This was one way. How, yeah. did that, how did that progress your photography skills? Ah, in school, you had one camera, high school. So getting your hands on it was also ah. a, a fight, a struggle. Yeah. So my way into the journalism club, I used to write mm -hmm. what happened at the functions, funkies. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows funkies in Kenya. So I used to be right. Then I present on Monday assembly mm -hmm. what happened. Mm. Yeah. They, they say multimedia production is storytelling. Yeah. So is it right to assume that you're a great storyteller? I hope so. I think <laughs> you must be. Because I see the impact at times. You see the impact? Chat. Yes. So what exactly is multimedia production? People mm. say, oh, we see videos. I like yeah. we see cartoons. Then we hear voice sound. What exactly is it? Multimedia production, it, mm -hmm. it encompasses what, what you've actually mentioned. Video, mm. motion graphics, animation too even to some aspects, photography and infographics. Okay. So the multimedia aspect, I'd say it's first from the person because they, they, they encompass all those skills together yeah. as, as the individual. So you find is, uh, the individual, like me, myself, I have knowledge on photography. I studied film through campus. Okay. Then halfway, I specialized in animation. Even my... Wow. My final project was an animation. It was a music video. You know, you mentioned a, yeah. a, a word I'm looking at that time. Infographics, animation, is, isn't is that? How, how, how can you tell the difference? Infographics, I'd say, it's more of passing out information in a visual way. So okay. mostly gets its st statistics of a place okay. around health, what we do okay. here at Crestwood day to day. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And animation would be? Animation would be now creating characters throughout the process to, to create a story. Okay. Like you create an avatar. The way you did for Takataka Nimali, mm -hmm. they have their own avatar who used to explain circular economy and it was an impactful video for Fantastic. them. Yes. So in the multimedia production process, it yes. seems like there are a lot of people involved. Yeah. How many would you need to be part of a multimedia production process? Huh. It depends on the project. Okay, okay. Because for, let's say we're doing example. a documentary. Okay, documentary. You'll need the director, mm -hmm. director of photography, mm -hmm. script writer, uh, the editor, mm -hmm. someone on the lighting. Mm -hmm. But now if you, if you have, in an agency environment, right. you'll definitely need someone who's hands-on with, with those internally, internally, all those aspects, so that when the projects aren't as big, someone can hold forth in a certain department. Okay. 
so you'd find the DP would will, will also be skilled in editing at times. So what's a DP? Someone listening director to of Did photography. You mean the <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. The director of photography. And his his job is just is it still visions visuals or are we in motion? It's the still. He plants the still okay. before the motion starts. So the process between yeah. start conception. Yes. Conception or conceptualizing of the production. Yes. To the end where client goes like, wow. That process, what does that depend on? The process. Mm -hmm. A great idea. Great idea. A great idea. It's always a great idea. And what what would inspire a great idea, Curtis? You you need to look at the how to convert anything into visual visual material. So you need to be visually literate. Even if you're given the constitution of Kenya, yeah. you should be able to create a story around it. Yeah. yeah. So you find someone has something technical that needs to be told to the public. Right. So you need someone multifaceted who will know what to put where. So this is where the client gets serviced by you telling their story. Yes. But in the client's own words. Yes. What inspires you every day to come up with these kind of stories? Is it you reading a book? Do you catch it in the shower? Yeah. Do you go swimming? What is it as a multimedia producer? Thankfully, I, I've been able to excel through the internet age. So most of my research is on the internet. I'll be on Instagram just mm. saving. I actually don't like I just save what everything so that when I come back, uh -huh. I look through my saved content. Uh -huh which is always something constructive most okay. of the time, unless I'm sending a meme to one of my <laughs> colleagues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, just through the internet, YouTube, mm -hmm. that's where I learned my trade first before I went to school, actually. Oh, so your YouTube taught? Like yes, I'm my YouTube. This is good stuff. It's product of YouTube. Product of YouTube. Yes. A lot of people are. When it comes to multimedia production, mm -hmm. and we're looking at what client is perceiving mm. to be the end do you always deliver exactly what they're looking for or do you cut corners or how do you how do you incorporate clients um desires or ideas into the entire project so ever since i came to crestwood right. one of the key stre uh, strengths of the this agency to be yeah. specific has been human centered design and what is that exactly it's uh, approaching everything as to the target audience of each customer. So mm -hmm. at Crystal, we always go through meetings with the client, mm -hmm. understand why this needs to be listened to this person, the audience. Let's say, for example, we're doing the Takataka and Mali documentary. Right. It was to showcase their impact throughout their five years, since the, their, their, their inception five years ago. Mm -hmm. So we needed to understand who are the key people who helped achieve this milestone. So if you highlight that those for the, for the client, yes. they would understand. Because for that, we, we focused on the waste pickers, yes. went to the stakeholders who are government, non-governmental, and now them, the internally, the staff, they're all incorporated in that documentary. And that's what you the human centered design. I love it. Yes. Love it. I hope you're, you're learning something mm. here. Uh, I need to understand that one of the documentaries you did yes. for one of our great clients uh, was nominated at uh, International Film Festival. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Congratulations. How Thank does that you. make you feel? Uh, yeah? Hunger that? for more. Yeah. I'd, I'd say that. It gives me hunger for more. Hunger for more. Yeah. Hey, you know, you talked about the internet and how you always go and you save stuff. Yes. And you go back to check what you can be able to use. Mm. Do you think with the, with the, with the introduction of AI, yes. do you feel that your skin is under attack? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you feel you're going to miss out on so much because of the introduction of the AI? And that's artificial mm. intelligence. For AI, I'd say right now, mm -hmm. it's actually helping. It is. In certain aspects, I'd say for brainstorming, they are, they are always use it. Mm -hmm. It's to bounce off ideas instantly. Because back then, I would, 
if I'm creating a mood board for something, okay. I'll look through pictures which are hard to find. Mm. So if I want a text of an idea I'm trying to achieve, a copy of what I want to achieve, I'll just generate it through AI. Yeah. It's, it will be under attack, but <laughs> we, we love humans. We love the yeah. story behind the, the, the body of work. I'd say people love the artist more than the body of work. If you look okay. through films, yes. like recently they produced the Oppenheimer. Mm. People loved Christopher Nolan more than the, the actual movie. I'd say because it was hyped through his experience in film. Yeah, and he's a great director. He's a great director. Yes, he Though AI has, has actually caused a lot of friction, especially with the script writers. Yes. So yes. that's a that's an aspect to it, like the disadvantages. It's so like automating think, creativity. I, that's what I was yeah. thinking about. You, you don't feel like script writers are dumbing down, for lack of a better word, mm. uh, because they have to now take up AI yeah. and the ideas that uh, are being you know churned out. Now, Do you think they're dumbing down? They're actually not. I think they're fighting against it. Mm -hmm. So, but automation is inevitable. Even for us motion graphic designers, we see mm -hmm. motion graphic design done with the eye. Mm -hmm. But the human aspect will never fade away, especially with creativity. Yeah. People love their storyteller more I than the story. Love it. I know of Shakespeare, but <laughs> I be I've barely read his books. Yeah. For me. I only know much at the nice because my brother had it in high school. See your life. Yeah. Well <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about multimedia production and its challenges. Yes. What would you say is the greatest challenge hmm. when it comes to the process? I'd say the fear of failing. Because hmm. that breed that breeds procrastination for a creative mind. So you're like, Whoa. you want to attack on this idea, then yes. you're like, will it work? Will it actually work? And uh, you find that with your passion projects, the ones that really help you upskill. Because here, here you have to deliver. This is true. Regardless yeah. of so the, you, how you woke up. Not in, bounce, a, in a good not, way. Like yeah. it's, <laughs> it, would you bounce your ideas off if, you're, mm. if you fear the failing part? Because if you're surrounded by videographers, yes. photographers. Copywriters. Yes. And and procrastination is real. Yes, yeah, it's, it's real. So so what then becomes your point of reference? That um, this is gonna work. This is it. Yeah. I have friends and colleagues who <laughs> they, they always poke the rib like, where is that project you're working on? Where is that project you're working on? So those are uh, that's one of them. And what else? Timelines. Even if it's a passion project. Oh, timelines, like, yes. You just have to give yourself three months. Like there's an animation I was to work on. Right uh, as I was coming from lunch, I was like, I need to go back and do it. Because it's been sitting on my draft for three months. And the reason is because? Fear of failure. Yeah. I get it. Tough place, eh? Tough place, yeah. You know, you talk about fear of failure and yeah. amount of media production whatever is shown to the audiences and to the clients has to be top notch yes what what keeps you what keeps you level headed mm. what keeps you level headed so that when you when it's given to the audience or to the client they sit back and go like this is it mm. this works so with that you have to appreciate each stage of of production Good. the pre-production production and post-production okay so there's the boring part, the pre. <laughs> Wait, pre-production is boring. Yeah. It is not. Really. Will you believe it? Because it it's when you're throwing this magical idea, then it's shut down. Oh, so that's it, why it becomes boring. Yeah. Allah. So it's it's mentally draining. That's why they call it brainstorm at times. Yes. And so you, you keep bouncing off until you get to this one magical idea. So mm -hmm. if you if you've done the pre-production. You know the shots you're going to have. You know the number of scenes, the locations. Now on production is checking a checklist. Unless it rains like <laughs> <laughs> last week. <laughs> so yeah. those are the minor hurdles of production. Someone fell ill on set. So mm -hmm. yeah. And then post-production, mm -hmm. make sure you back up your content. Oh, man. The basics, like yeah. then you edit. And then you edit, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Because all these stages go through approval. Yeah. So the, the boring part, 
the production and <laughs> post. That. Who is the most important team member mm. on a multimedia production? The most important project. Yeah. project. Yeah. Who is it that you know we cannot do without? Huh. I'd say logistics. Logistics? Yeah. And you'd think those are the guys you'd need the most. And why logistics? To get around to places. If someone's not organizing all that, mm -hmm. the location scouting, the getting point A to point B, where you'll rest if if you're out of town. That's yeah, that's that's impossible to to run a production. If you look at it, because you'll get all the talent, mm -hmm. but moving point point A to all that needs to be looked through quite well. Yeah. Then we go to the script writer, the person who writes the story. Yes. Yeah. That's a that's a vital part. Because now yeah. it's going back to it'll go back to the director yes. who then takes it to the director of photography to create the visual image. And for agency it's the director is also the DP at times. Yes, yeah. Yes. You have a client yes. who's, who's asked for a multimedia production process yes. to be done. And maybe they have a they have a product. But they want this product to be animated in a way that it suits, let's go for a target audience, children. Yeah. In your opinion, mm. what would be the most important element to put in or to add in the entire process to ensure you reach target audience yes. and you make clients smile? <laughs> so for a pro project like that, mm -hmm. uh, color, I'd color. say, yeah, elements yeah. of color. Kids love color. Kid Listen. loves color. Smart. Okay. It's, it's a way like if yeah. you... Uh, it's visual literacy, I'd say that. Like visual you need to literacy. learn how to yeah. turn it from something, piece of paper to visual appealing. Yes. Yeah, and someone to understand every piece of it. So even when I watch movies, yeah. I always critique certain stuff. <laughs> so you'll, you'll be bored watching a movie with me. I'm like, that wasn't done well, that wasn't done well. Or the, this, this means it? what? Yeah, you this, critique, yeah. yeah. Oh if you see low lighting, you're like, why is the lighting bad in this place? It creates a mood. Mm. Yeah. See why I told you <laughs> that the goat is here with us. There is the whole time. You're looking for that one agency that can deliver, whether it's children, the youth, or the older generation. Mm. It's definitely Crestwood. Marketing and Communications Limited. You're still on the We Deliver podcast. My name is Tina. My guest is Curtis Ovimbo. He is a multimedia producer. I got one more question for you, maybe five yes. before you mm. end. Yeah. Let's talk about trends. Yes. How do you keep up with trends, the latest trends for uh, mm. multimedia production? What, what does that look like for you? For me? You go crazy and you think, oh my God, I'm late. Oh, this is too busy. <laughs> for me, I'm, I'm more inclined to video production at the moment. At the moment. At the moment. So every day I'm Googling for the new camera. Yeah. And they produce them like weekly. So <laughs> it's extra yeah. pressure. I'm like, they're already on the third one. Yes. I How do you keep up? Huh. How do I keep up? Yes. I look for the camera, learn the basics around it on the internet. Mm -hmm. So even when I can't buy it, mm -hmm. I know where to access it okay. here in Nairobi. So I had test it out and yeah. What about in terms of software? Software. Yes. Software for me, it's been since school the I was put to learn the industry standard. Mm -hmm. I'd say that. So the updates aren't really major, mm -hmm. unless we're going the AI way, maybe yeah. if I want to learn that. Or if I want to, let's say, do game design. Yeah. Now those are the aspects hey. I was saying, like you fear failing somehow, so yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll be that in my 30s. Is there a project that you're absolutely proud of, mm. that you have your hand in, that mm. was multimedia production? Is there, off the top of your head? Off the top of my head. I'd say yes, yes, right now. <laughs> I'm sure we have a clip of that. Uh, take a look. Yes. 
you are, I, I believe, you you truly understand the multimedia production process. Yes. And not a lot of people uh, would would be thinking in that direction. But we have made, we need to understand videography is mm. your top notch. Yeah. And then maybe followed by photography. Mm, animation. Animation. And motion. And animation and motion. Motion design. Okay. It's almost so, the uh, same thing. Assuming I'm very green. Yeah. What is animation and motion? Motion is also like motion falls yes. to the infographics. The infographics fall under motion too. And animation is the simple one. There I told you, create an avatar, animate it, tell, tell a story. Yeah. It could be 2D or 3D. Yes. Q crickets. Mm. 2D, 2D animation is there. Hand drawn. Ah, hand drawn. Yes. Oh, that's what it is. Yes. Then 3D is. Yes, you must say doodling. Yeah. It can be doodling. It can be. It's Donald Duck on Tom and Jerry. <laughs> then the other yes. one is Shrek. Shrek. Yeah. Q crickets again. Yeah. Listen, mm. do you have a, I call it the shutting part. Yeah. Instead of parting shot. Do you have a shutting part for any um, uh, potential multimedia producer? Mm. that is looking to get into it, whether an agency, whether it's personal, whether it's a skill, what, what, what do you want to say out uh, of the heart of multimedia? Uh, I'd say keep reinventing yourself mm. throughout. Always be in creative spaces, I'd say that, like where people create, not necessarily video or anything. You can go to poetry, Graffiti, like last weekend, I was at a graffiti function, and you were I was at a graffiti blown. function. Yes. So we've been spray cans, and yeah, hopefully soon. But I was just marvelled by the sight what? of it, and this is so cool. yeah, dance places, mm -hmm. yeah. just that adrenaline cycling. Those those are what keep me inspired. I'd say to anyone, and you need to have like a five year plan. Yeah. That's all, all, all something five always. Five year plan? Yes. Why five year plan? Five year plan. Something that, uh, it's, a, it's a journey. You know where you're going. Yes. So you might, you might end up on this route, but eventually you need to get to Mombasa. This is true. Yes. You have a potential client watching you right now. Yes. Tell them to come to Crest. What is it now? Uh -uh. Come to Crest to create your <laughs> ultimate visual experience. Yeah. We've done lots of wonderful work over the years. And one thing we always do is deliver. Yes. I like it. This is good. Thank you so much, man. Mm. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Tina. You're awesome. You're magical, too. The <laughs> intro. The intro inspired, it, it inspired all you. this, yes. Listen, you catch us again on the We Deliver podcast from the Crestwood Marketing Communications Limited. We deliver. Adios. Mm -hmm.